The green fascists are on the run, thanks to he who shall not be named, because if you name this guy, they'll say you're a stooge for he who shall not be named. Folks, it was inevitable. It was going to come down to the green fascist plan or somebody or something else. It was inevitable. And uh, seeing the <laughs> one of the German Green Party members saying that, hey, whoa, 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 we need to revisit nuclear is uh, <laughs> what a friggin' victory. It's a victory because of he who shall not be named. You might not like it. Don't care, man. Don't care. You know why? Because the green fascists are, I'm not going to say the enemy, because Satan is the enemy. They are, they are working on behalf of Satan, for sure. It's weird how they got these trees, these vines going around. It looks like a strangler. It's almost like a boa constrictor. Anyway, so we got the head of, I don't know, the head one of the Green Party, German Green Party members saying, oh, yeah, maybe we need to rethink nuclear. We got the, uh, some guy in German politics who isn't just like some far, you know, obscure guy. He's saying, hey, we need to rethink nuclear and oil and gas permits. My man Michael Schellenberger posts a video to, or a tweet today. And I'm not on Twitter. I just follow people who are on Twitter because I don't want to give them anything because I hate Twitter. It said that uh, 20 years ago, Germany, or maybe 25 or 50 now, but with our lifetimes, Germany used to be a, next, a net exporter of natural gas. I'll post that image because it's, it's breathtaking. Breathtaking. <laughs> I mean, you got to say, he who should not be named basically has saved us. Because, and even now we got Elon Musk saying, I hate to say it, but we need to get more oil and gas. Or there's a simple solution, nuclear. Clean, safe, efficient, always on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And get rid of the, I look, I'm so full throttle nuclear now. Because how much I absolutely despise oil companies after reading, reading about uh, the Rockefeller clan, the evil they've done throughout the world. Yes, all the while making a product, which I use all the time, I grant you. Well, I grant you. I'm a freaking hypocrite. Yep. I also can't stand Big Pharma, but I use some Big Pharma products. Lexapro comes to mind. And lots of other things Big Pharma produces. Yeah, I'm a big fat hypocrite. However, we do have an alternative to oil, at least. We have an alternative to the big pharma, frankly. But let's, let's, not, let's not mince words here. But I don't want to talk about that here. But anyway, big, we have an alternative to big oil, which is nuclear. Now, I don't know how you'd fly an airplane with nuclear technology. I don't know. I know you can power a ship. We know that. A submarine, we know that. You can power a whole city with clean, efficient nuclear power. Uh, absolutely. I just don't know how you fly things. But you know, one of you all might not know. I just don't know. And I love people working oil and gas, the people. Like I might not like the Russian government, I love their citizens. I certainly don't like the American government, but I love its citizens. I don't like the oil and gas companies, but I love their employees 100%. It's okay to be anti this, but pro that and not be mutually exclusive. It's okay to do that, my friends. Don't want to trick you otherwise. So that's why the whole thing with, we got to ban Tolstoy or whatever the hell kids from playing soccer and hockey. This is freaking xenophobia. It's crazy. The only time the left cares about victims of persecution is if the victims are white. You never notice that? The left doesn't care at all unless the victims are white in terms of genocide. Didn't care about Rwanda. Didn't care about anything unless it happens in Europe with white victims. Then all of a sudden they care. Don't care about what's going on in China. Don't care about Sudan. Don't care about Yemen. Don't care, don't care, don't care. But it happens to white people, all of a sudden the left gets all up in arms. It's weird. It's almost like they're racist, but they are. We know that. That's why they never say they're moving to Central America. They always say they're moved to Canada. They always want to move to Europe. They don't want to move to Africa. And it doesn't take a rocket science to figure out why. Oh, I gotta get out of the country. Where are you moving to Canada? Why? Well, well, yeah, because it's just like us. Ah, so you're racist. Racist pigs. Yeah, I'm freaking pissed. And I love the green fascists being on the run. 
All right, so with the point being here, none of this was going to happen eventually. It had to. The question is, was this going to happen on our, what's happening to us, uh, would it be like us in Germany, where we had given up our sovereignty to the EU in the World Economic Forum, or was it going to happen to somebody else, like Germany, so we could say, hey, let's not do that. Now, at the end of the day, our government doesn't care. Biden doesn't care. Tony, what the hell is his name? Blinken. He doesn't care because he hates you. He hates you. He doesn't care if you have high price at, at gas, high price oil, high price propane. He does not care because he hates you. Do you hear what uh, Kamala said? We're all going to have to pay a price. She ain't paying no freaking price, fool. Did you hear how she's on Air Force Two and... Uh, some guy was the ambassador who flew over there, you know, to join with Germany. I think it was the ambassador to Germany. She, he flew over there on Air Force Two, and then she said, you can't fly back on Air Force Two. And I was like, well, I thought you are a big green guy. Because if you're green, how could you fly back on Air Force Two and then not take other people with you? Well, that means they have to spew CO2 in the atmosphere. Did you hear about, this is sad, but a guy who ran green investments out of uh, North Carolina... I just read about this from the covidblog.com, all one word, the covidblog.com. I forgot his name. Um, anyway, he was all about carbon trading, reducing carbon footprint. He made a lot of money on trading carbon. Uh, he calls it a free market, yeah, uh, because CO2 is bad. And he died, how? An airplane crash. I find that the irony of all ironies. Now you look, I'm not trying to pee on a dead man. I just find it weird that the guy who's anti-CO2 and making bank off CO2 trading dies in a plane crash. You can't fly and be green if being green means you're anti-CO2. You can't. Two things are mutually exclusive. You can't do it. And any lib who does it, or a right winger who's trying to call Rove, George Schultz, I know they think he's dead, but... Uh, who's the other guy? Uh, all kinds of clowns on the right, too. They're not ideological. They're just money-driven. You can't fly and be green. That's all there is to it. Just look it up. You can't, you can't take a, a boat, a yacht, a cruise ship and be green. Just look it up. But you won't. Buy from followers will. The greenies won't. The libs won't. Because they're living in a fantasy land. Anyway, so what's happening here is... People are recognizing the insanity of what I've been saying. Basically, since the fifth, the fifth video on my channel, we have to have cheap energy. You will not get it from wind turbines in the beautiful state of Maine. It won't happen. You have to have cheap energy. You won't get it from solar photovoltaic. It won't happen. Can you power a house for the most part on solar other than the need to heat a heating source yes 100 percent. your house you cannot power your neighborhood on your rooftop solar panels it won't happen you can't power your neighborhood if they all have rooftop solar panels it won't happen because power is everything energy is everything not just putting on the lights lights are pretty cheap and efficient now with leds the heating, the cost of making the products, the cost of mine for the stuff that goes into the lead asset batteries or lithium batteries, it costs money to build the machines to do that. And the solar panels won't do that for you. It's the biggest idiotic thing there ever has been perpetrated on mankind. And the reason is for it is for the globalist elites to do two things. Get freaking wealthier than you can imagine and buy up the whole world, the farmland like Bill Gates is doing, and to reduce the population. Georgia Guidestones, baby. Now, so many people are ignorant of it. I was too. So one of you guys told me about Georgia Guidestones. I said, that can't be true. Show sure enough, Georgia Guidestones right here in Georgia. That's some evil, evil stuff. And that's what happens when you hate humanity. Because you hate humanity because you hate God. All these people say they're atheists. I talked with my son today. They're not atheists. I said atheists aren't really atheists. I mean, there's some. Sam Harris probably. You know, Sam Harris the rich boy, by the way. Shocking, huh? John Stewart. Rich boy. Shocking. Who's the other guy? Another rich kid out there. I said, yeah, how ironic. Uh, I forgot who it was. 
who's the president of the NYSE's wife? Anyway, the point being is all these guys are clowns. Uh, but the most atheists don't not believe in God. They hate God for whatever reason. Their lives are miserable and they want to blame somebody, so they blame God. And as such, they're not actually atheistic. They're antagonistic, agnostic towards uh, God because they hate him. They said, God, if you were legit and righteous, I would be in power. Because they think they're all, you know, they literally think they're God's gift to the world. And it turns out they're not. They get really, really angry at God for not allowing them to be God's gift. Anyway, so thank you, Zelensky. Appreciate it, man, for showing us the path to send the green fascists packing. I could not be happier. I support you in your endeavors, Zelensky. Keep up the fight. That way we can see once and for all how the green Nazis have nothing but bad things in store for us. And if we can get these scumbags uh, to take an L for once, it'll be good for humanity. So thank you. Ultimately, the thanks goes that the he who shall not be named. Because uh, if it wasn't for he who shall not be named, uh, this would never happen. And what would happen even more is that come 2024, 26, because Biden is still canceling leases for oil and gas. They're not expanding nuclear power. Uh, we would soon be under the thumb of the, uh, of the people, China, India, Russia, the BRICS. We're saying, oh, too bad, so sad for you guys. Vengeance is a mofo because there's some angry people over there who have a lot of legitimate reasons to be angry at us for our meddling. And they say, ah, sucks to be America that you've squandered your gifts from God a la Germany. All right. Love to your thoughts. We'll see you.